G'day everyone, so there's been a new Zen firmware and Zen Studio update. I haven't updated mine yet, so I'm going to go through and do that now. You can watch along and see just how easy it is, so you can do yours as well. Now here's all the new stuff. If you want to see what's new, then just pause the video here and read through that in your own time, I suppose. Let's jump into getting this all downloaded. So you're going to come to this website. The link's going to be in the description there. Now Zen Studio, this is the new one, Beta 105. You're going to click download. Very simple. It's easy to do. Once that's downloaded to your PC, I recommend putting that onto your desktop or wherever you, you know, you know Zen Studio is going to be. I'm going to put it right here under the old one and get rid of the old one. Put it there. I'm going to rename this one. Let's go rename. Zen Studio Beta 105. You don't have to do that part, but I just like to keep it clean. And there we go. We've now got the new Zen Studio. We now need to update the firmware. Update the firmware. We're going to need to use the Collective Minds firmware update tool, funnily enough. So you can either download that here on the same page, or if you've previously updated firmware, it'll be on your PC. So either download it here or click on your little Windows thing and search CM update, and it'll come up. This is the one that you need. We're going to click that, open that one, and it'll look something like this. We're going to need to hold the blue button on the bottom of the Zen. My Zen's all plugged up here, so I can't really drag it in front of the camera. I'll try. My best. There's cords everywhere. But the little blue button here, we're going to hold that one. Make a sound. And now it pops up in the firmware update tool. So let me just pop this back down. Now on the Zen screen, it does say Zen bootloader. You don't have to stress about that. That's that's what it does. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click this part that pops up. Uncheck this part here, all right? Don't leave it. Uncheck it. And then from the list, we're going to pick the one at the very top, which is beta 35. We continue, begin update, and let it go. And there we go, all finished. So now that's done, we can close that. And we're going to open up the new Zen Studio. Now that we've got that open, what you want to do is use the mini USB that plugs into the right-hand side of your Zen. Plug that one into the Zen and the other end into your PC, just like you normally would when you're putting scripts on and stuff. So now that you've done that, you come into Zen Studio, we're going to go to device and we're going to go uh, erase memory slots and click OK. Click OK for this one. It's resetting device. Let it go through it. Once it's done that, it's going to kick you back to this screen, the library one. We're going to go back to device and we're going to go factory reset. Again, click OK. Let it go through whatever it needs to do. Once that's done, it kicks you back to this screen again. That's fine. What we're going to do now is close Zen Studio. We're going to press the Windows key and the letter R on the keyboard. So it brings up something like this. And that's exactly what you're going to search there. So percentage sign, app data, percentage sign again. Click OK. It's going to bring up something that looks like this. You're going to scroll through until you see Cronus and Beta. Mine's here. Right click on it, delete it, and then close that one. We're going to go empty recycle bin just to make sure it's all gone. And there we go. That's everything. And now if you open up Zen Studio, you can see up the top left, we've got Zen Studio Beta 105. Down the bottom left here, we've got uh, the Zen firmware, which is Beta 35. So we're all up to date. We're all good to go. But that's everything I needed to go through for the video. If you have any questions, ask guys in the comments. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.